Modernization Act. Our government has made concerted efforts to fulfill the commitments in Andhra Pradesh Reorganization Act. Reorg recognizing, recognizing the state's need for the capital, recognizing us recognizing the state's need for a capital we will facilitate fi special financial support through multilateral development agencies in the current financial year 15000 crore rupees will be arranged with additional amounts in future years is fully committed to financing and yes. early completion of the Ponavaram irrigation bede project, bede. which is the lifeline, which is the lifeline for Andhra Pradesh and its farmers. This will facilitate our country's food security as well. Under the Act, under the Act, Andhra Pradesh Reorganization Act for promoting industrial development, funds will be provided for essential infrastructure such as water, power, railways and roads in Koparthi Node on the Vishagapatnam Chennai Industrial Corridor and Varavakal Node on the Hyderabad Bangalore Industrial Corridor. An additional allocation will be provided this year towards capital investment for economic growth. Grants for backward regions of Rayalaseema, Prakasham, North Coastal Andhra, as stated in the Act, will be provided. PM Awas Yojana. Three crore additional houses under the PM Avas Yojana in rural and urban areas in the country have been announced for which the necessary allocations are being made. Women-led development. For promoting women-led development, the budget carries an allocation of more than three lakh crore for schemes benefiting women and girls. The signals, this signals our government's commitment for enhancing women's role in economic development. Pradhan Mantri Janjatiya Unnat Gram Abhiyan for improving the socio-economic condition of tribal communities, we will launch the Pradhan Mantri Janjatiya Unnat Gram Abhiyan by adopting saturation coverage for tribal families in tribal majority villages and aspirational districts. This will cover 63,000 villages benefiting 5 crore tribal people. Bank branches in northeastern region. More than 100 branches of India Post Payment Bank will be set up in the Northeast region to expand the banking services. This year, I have made a provision of 2.66 lakh crore rupees for rural development, including rural infrastructure. Priority four, manufacturing and services, support for promotion of MSMEs. This budget, provides special attention to MSMEs and manufacturing, particularly labor-intensive manufacturing. We have formulated a package covering financing, regulatory changes, and technology support for MSMEs to help them grow and also compete globally, as mentioned in the interim budget. I'm happy to announce the following specific measures. Credit guarantee scheme for MSMEs in the manufacturing sector. For facilitating term loans to MSMEs for purchase of machinery and equipment 
without collateral or third party guarantee a credit guarantee scheme will be introduced the scheme will operate on pooling of credit risks of such msmes a separately constituted self financing guarantee fund will provide to each applicant guarantee cover up to 100 crore rupees while the loan amount may be larger the borrower will have to provide an upfront guarantee fee and an annual guarantee fee on the reducing loan balance new assessment model for msme credit public sector banks will build their own in house capability to assess msmes for credit instead of relying on external assessment they will also take a lead in developing or getting developed a new credit assessment model based on the scoring of digital footprints of the msmes in the economy this is expected to be a significant improvement over the traditional assessment of credit eligibility based only on asset or turnover criteria that will also cover msmes without a formal accounting system credit support to msmes during stress period i'm happy to announce a new mechanism for facilitating continuation of bank credit to msmes during their stress period while being in special mention account sma account sma stage for reasons beyond their control msmes need credit to continue their business and to avoid getting into the npa stage credit availability will be supported through a guarantee from a government promoted fund mudra loans the limit of mudra loans will be enhanced to 20 lakh from the current 10 lakh for those entrepreneurs who have availed and successfully repaid previous loans under the tarun category enhanced scope for mandatory onboarding in treads for facilitating msmes to unlock their working capital by converting their trade receivables into cash i propose to reduce the turnover threshold of buyers for mandatory onboarding on the treads platform from rupees 500 crore to 250 crore rupees this measure will bring 22 more cpscs and 7000 more companies onto the platform medium enterprises will also be included in the scope of the suppliers sidbi branches in msme clusters sidbi will open new branches to expand its reach to serve all major msme clusters within 3 years and provide direct credit to them with the opening of 24 such branches this year the service coverage will expand to 168 out of 242 major clusters msme units for food irradiation quality and safety testing financial support for setting up of 50 multi product food irradiation units in the msme sector will be provided setting up of 100 food quality and safety testing labs with nabl accreditation will be facilitated e commerce export hubs to enable msmes and traditional artisans to sell their products in international markets e commerce export hubs will be set up in public private partnership mode these hubs under a seamless regulatory and logistic framework will facilitate trade and export related services under one roof measures for promotion of manufacturing and services internship in top companies as the fifth scheme under prime minister's package our government will launch a comprehensive scheme for providing internship 
internship opportunities in 500 top companies to one crore youth in five years, they will gain they will gain exposure for 12 months to real-life business environment, varied professions, and employment opportunities. An internship allowance of 5,000 per month, 5,000 rupees per month, along with a one-time assistance of 6,000 rupees will be provided. Companies will be expected to bear the training cost and 10% of their internship cost from their CSR funds. Industrial parks. Our government will facilitate development of investment-ready, plug-and-play industrial parks with complete infrastructure in or near 100 cities in partnership with the states and private sector by better using town planning schemes. 12 industrial parks under the National Industrial Corridor Development Program also will be sanctioned. Veggie paper, no? Please, wait here. Rental housing. Rental housing with dormitory type accommodation for industrial workers will be. Just one minute. Rental housing, I repeat. Rental housing with dormitory type accommodation for industrial workers will be facilitated in PPP mode with VGF support and commitment from anchor industries. Shipping industry, ownership, leasing, and flagging reforms will be implemented to improve the share of Indian shipping industry and generate more employment. Critical mineral mission. We will set up a critical mineral mission for domestic production, recycling of critical minerals and overseas acquisition of critical mineral assets. Its mandate will include technology development, skilled workforce, extended producer responsibility, uh, extended producer responsibility framework, and a suitable financing mechanism. Offshore mining of minerals. Our government will launch the auction of the first tranche of offshore blocks for mining building on the exploration already carried out. Digital public infrastructure applications. Turning to the services sector, I propose development of DPI applications at population scale for productivity gains, business opportunities, and innovation by the private sector. These are planned in the areas of credit, e-commerce, education, health, law and justice, logistics, MSME service delivery, and urban governance. Integrated technology platform for IBC ecosystem. An integrated technology platform will be set up for improving the outcomes under the Insolvency Bankruptcy Code for achieving consistency, transparency, timely processing, and better oversight for all stakeholders. Voluntary closure of LLPs. The services of the Center for Processing Accelerated Corporate Exit, CPAS, will be extended for voluntary closure of LLPs to reduce the closure times. National Company Law Tribunals. The IBC has resolved more than 1,000 companies, resulting in direct recovery of 3.3 lakh crore to creditors. 3.3 lakh crore rupees to creditors. In addition, 28,000 cases involving over 10 lakh crore rupees have been disposed of even prior to admission. Appropriate changes to the IBC, reforms and strengthening of the tribunal and appellate tribunals will be initiated 
to speed up insolvency resolution, additional tribunals will be established. Out of those, some will be notified to decide cases exclusively under the Companies Act. Debt recovery. Steps for reforming and strengthening debt recovery tribunals will be taken. Additional tribunals will be established to speed up recovery. Priority five, urban development. Cities as growth hubs. Working with states, our government will facilitate development of cities as growth hubs. This will be achieved through economic and transit planning and orderly development of peri-urban areas utilizing town planning schemes. Creative redevelopment of cities. For creative brownfield redevelopment of existing cities with a transformative impact, our government will formulate a framework for enabling policies, market-based mechanisms, and regulation. Transit-oriented development. Transit-oriented development plans for 14 large cities with a population above 30 lakh will be formulated along with an implementation and financing strategy. Urban housing. Under the PM Avas Yojana, Urban 2.0, housing needs of one crore urban poor and middle class families will be addressed with an investment of 10 lakh crore rupees. This will include the central assistance of 2.2 lakh crore rupees in the next five years. A provision of interest subsidy to facilitate loans at affordable